But we're in luck because we have Rosalinda live on Skype. Rosalinda, you are live on Fox 10 News now. Thanks for joining us. Hey, guys. How are you? We are better than you. We're just so happy to see you um, and you look safe. And after watching that video of you evacuating the boat, friend, it, it really um, just tore at our heartstrings. We got a glimpse of what it's like for so many people when they hear the word that a hurricane's coming. Did you ever think you'd find yeah, yourself in the path um, of a hurricane? No. As you know, we lived on a boat uh, five years ago, and we never once had anything threaten us, nothing even remotely come close to this. And, um, and so this is, this is really a first. Mm -hmm. And you've got kids. Tell people about your family situation, because you decided a <laughs> few months ago. Let me show you kids yeah. first. Let me show you them. Hey, guys. Everyone say hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. They're such a beautiful family. Hi, how's it going? Good to see you. You guys are living in, you go from a boat to a minivan. <laughs> right. That's exactly what it feels like. We actually, um, we were in the hotel all day, but um, but when my husband was tying, the, when Nathan was tying the lines mm -hmm. to try to secure the boat as best we could, it's really difficult work and he fell in and his phone was in his pocket. So oh, no. he has no phone, obviously we need one. Um, he's a physician and so there may be cause for him to need to help. So we're out uh, right now going to get him a replacement phone. Oh my gosh. So, well, if that, yeah, I guess- in one of them, it's been about 24 hours like this. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, in watching you wrap things up and just walk away, knowing that there's a really good chance there's that you're not going to walk back into that boat. I mean, it would almost take a miracle at this point for things to be intact. Is that kind of the feeling you're getting? That is the yeah. absolute truth of it. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm, there is very, unless something miraculous happens, there's very little chance that boat will not be damaged. It's right in the path of the storm. Um, about 300 yards from the, about 300 yards from the ocean. Yeah, oh we're very gosh. close to the ocean. We're right inside the Lake Worth Inlet. Um, mm -hmm. Because of how our boat is, it's a it's a very wide catamaran. We don't fit in a lot of the slips that other um, other boats would fit in, and we have a, a very tall mast, 75 feet. So we can't go under some of the bridges that would lead up river that would be safer than where we're located. Uh. Um, the dock that we're secure to is a floating dock. So we basically used ropes and ropes and ropes and ropes and, and just tied it as best we could along with another catamaran behind us. And we basically cross tied and, and now the boat will rise and sink with the dock. But I know, you know, they've been talking about storm surges, you know, 10 feet and right. higher. Well, if it's anything over six feet, that entire thing is going to float up and over and the whole marina will be gone. Uh, well, I always think about the, the pictures um, that we see after the storm where y y the photographers make their way in and you see a house that's toppled and then you see a boat sitting next to it and it's uh, half a mile in and you go, how on earth did that boat right. get there? But w you're talking right. about winds with a hurricane, a category four of 150 miles an hour. Uh, you know, the wind damage Yeah, alone. and I mean, uh, and a boat is made to withstand, a, especially a sailboat like ours, is made to withstand a good amount of wind. Mm -hmm. But um, where we're situated, it's it's the debris and the uh, there's a major, a massive boat on the other side of the the dock that if it comes loose, it's going to run right into us. I mean, there's so many things that could smash into our boat um, that that's it, yeah, it's indirect danger. And to be honest, as awful as that is. Um, we're really, really worried because um, we have loved ones there and our babysitter decided to stay in uh, West Palm Beach and she's got our dog. We have a we have a German Shepherd puppy that lives on the boat with us mm -hmm. and uh, she's still there. Um, you know, not not quite on the water, but right. inland just a little. So, yeah, we were we're it's been a stressful day for everybody. But, you, just I, you know, I know we're no different than other people, except that our home happens to be a boat. Well, and I think people in Arizona, and you remember living here in Arizona, both you and Nate, uh, they see boats and they go, oh, it's just somebody's luxury. That's a lot of people's right. homes in Florida. Is that right? Absolutely. And and yeah, and as you know, because we keep in touch, um, we've been prepared. This is our dream. We've been preparing for this over a year. And it, the idea was that we were going to uh, go down the chain of islands and explore with our family, give our kids a chance to experience other cultures in ways that, you know, we may ne never have had. 
And so we've been building toward this for a year and we just moved aboard three months ago. And we actually moved it to West Palm Beach because we felt like it was more secure there. It was a good place for the kids while we were prepping the boat and we were going to sail in December. So uh, yeah, it's, it, you know, we, the, the good news is what you see in this car right here is everybody's okay. That's you know, the important we're okay. stuff. Yeah, the important stuff. Yeah. So um, that's all we can do is. You that. know what struck me? We don't, the good news is we don't, I'm sorry. I, I missed that. We don't have any junk. To carry around. I said the good news is we don't have any junk to carry around anymore. <laughs> I no, also want to acknowledge no his more Arizona water. shirt that he yes. has on. I feel like he wore that just for this interview. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at oh, it. Yeah, uh, right. go. We got to get oh, a plug in for Arizona yeah. football. Um, I have to tell you, Rosalinda, watching that video last night, I. I didn't realize you were right in the heart, you know, the, the, where the eye of the storm was going to hit. And, and I got very emotional watching that last night. I was so impressed that you were able to keep your emotions in check. How hard is that? I mean, you, I know you want to feel like you're strong for the kids, but there's got to be moments where you and Nate just go, oh, I need to break down. <laughs> well, if you keep talking to me like that, it's okay. going to be one of I'm these sorry. moments. <laughs> just That's kidding. tough, though. No, I mean, honestly, we, we had not watched the news because we were so focused on just getting the boat secure, getting out the off the boat, getting the kids and us to safety. Um, we really hadn't had time to process that. Once we got settled in the hotel, we finally turned on the news and realized, you know, you had, we had heard over the past several days, okay, it's coming to our general area. We're probably going to have a problem. You know, it started escalating and escalating. It wasn't until this morning when my daughter and I went to breakfast and I realized, oh, all the worst case scenarios are happening. And that's right. when I broke down. Uh, and the kids so are. What holding. are you going to do? No, she, you know, it wouldn't be exactly honest to say she just broke down. <laughs> she, she was crying many of the times when we were moving. She'd pull aside and she would just be shaking and crying. And we give her a hug and say, "We got to hold it together. We got to yeah. get this done and let's get out of here." But she, there hasn't uh, been a lot of time, probably. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So. What are you going to um, do? Well, Nate's a doctor. He's a physician, and uh, you talked about maybe having uh, to pull him into action if things get, you know, really bad. It, how do you how do you go about doing that? Is it just helping people you see, or are you affiliated with a hospital where you can go in and, and help? Well, he's not. He doesn't. He's not credentialed in Florida, so he wouldn't be able to go into a hospital with because he actually goes back to do his clinical work in New Mexico, mm -hmm. where we came from, or we moved from. Um, he does that once a month, but. If there's a need, I mean, medically, he obviously could offer assistance if they need it. I mean, if, if there's an imminent threat and some somebody's physically needing right. a doctor in the moment, he can help. Um, he actually belongs to a group of hospitals called MCARE, and he helps them. Um, you know, he, he's a vice president of integrative medicine, so he goes in to different hospitals to help. But that's more in, a, in an admittance, in and what would you call that, like a just a, a different okay. kind of yeah an education capacity but he's the kind of guy that would be uh, good good to have around when the storm passes and if there's somebody who is in need um the kids well, seem to be holding up okay the kids seem to be Pardon? um holding up okay do they think this is just an adventure hi what do kids? you think ahava hi that's ahava and that is ziva hi ziva and what ahava? do you think i think it's scary She's scared. <laughs> she said, I think it's scary. It's hard because they're off mic, so you probably won't be able yeah. to hear them too well. But they're they're doing pretty well. I mean, do, what do you think when you look back in uh, maybe in a month or two, are you planning on getting back on a boat and doing and continuing with your uh, idea of, of exploring? Or I don't know. I, hope, I really hope so. This was definitely my dream, and I pushed this family to do this, and I've been really wanting to do this for quite some time. Uh, we were waiting until Samuel, who, who hasn't said a word way back nice. there, because <laughs> um, he's watching a video. Um, he is, uh, we've been waiting for him to be old enough to do this, because he's five now, and yeah. uh, for safety reasons, we wanted to make sure he could follow instructions and be safe. Yeah. So we felt like now was the time, but obviously we may have to reassess that, and we don't know yet. We don't yeah. know. There's, there, there is a there is a financial consideration to that boat. It wasn't very cheap. <laughs> so it didn't look like if it. It's gone, gone, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like it was it was twice as expensive as our house. So wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know how things like that work because I've I've always been on dry land. But do you does insurance cover something like that? 
Because you have boat insurance. Yeah, to some degree. Insurance covers it to some degree, but it's uh, they increased the deductible to 20% during name storm. So Ooh. the uh, so it's going to be a pretty big hit either way you look at it. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I want you to know, um, I know from Samia and I and everybody here who's watching this, you are in our prayers. We have been thinking about you, and uh, I, I just hope for a miracle. I hope this storm somehow decides to do something crazy and go back out to sea. Um, yeah, we'd like that. We, that would be great. I always say, when people say that, I say, from your mouth to God's ears, let's hope so. Please, yes, God, hear us. Um, but we're just so thrilled that you're safe, and that's the important thing. You got everything thanks. you need right there in that car. And thanks for talking right. to us, Rosalinda. Thanks. Say hi to all our friends in Phoenix. Oh, we will, we will. And God bless you all. Be safe. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Everyone say bye. 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 Great to talk to you guys. Stay safe. Thank bye. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.